example, um, in, in your course at MSU, uh, these are these are soon to be masters graduates in the CXM program. What what do we want to what do we want to impart to them as it relates to you know information around design? Yeah, I think I think one of the there are some macro forces at work here, I believe, and some of the, the material that I teach in my class um, uh, is about how, you know, we're, we're sort of shifting from uh, uh, an era that has been mostly defined by industrial processes, right? So the assembly line and kind of how we think about the nature of, you know, uh, organizations today, how they function and how they work with uh, their customers, customer groups. And we're moving into this era that is more driven by technology, by information. And the way we think about it is an era of choice, and which is to say customers can really vote with their preferences and can, um, through technology, new technology solutions. I mean, Amazon is a great example, of course, how you know it started to shift the historical monopoly powers that existed just by geography, for example, where people can choose to not go to the local bookstore and buy something online. And, you, you know, you overlap streaming services and you know, software service, all these things that have happened. Um, it's never been cheaper to do, to switch. You know, so the switching costs are low for customers. They have more and more options available to them. And so for, from, from my perspective, the, the experience that they have with these products and services becomes the, one of the most critical parts of their relationship with any organization. And I think anybody who's sort of, you know, has already kind of drank the Kool-Aid on the CX world believes that, but I think it's more true today than even it was, you know, 50 years ago. And, and it's because of these other factors that are at play here. So, so from, from our perspective, starting to think about the human experience of it using these, you know, human centered design approaches and kind of thinking through these kinds of problems is a way to create a stronger connection with, with their customers. And so ultimately customers will very often choose the easiest or best path and they'll be hap they'll happily stop your product stop using your product and service for something else if it's better and uh, what does better mean and you know the, the the difficulty in making something better is you know sort of in, in many ways the uh, the stuff of CX but trying to understand what's really behind those decisions on the on the human side is where I think you know the human-centered design approaches can play a role